we're gonna set off for today's challenge in just a second but uh just catching up with the footy right now which is a novelty when you're in america three days on the bounce what could go wrong it's warm today not the sort of day you should be doing something called the Atomico Burrito. I hope that atomic in there doesn't mean it's spicy. Love it. America, land of the free parking. <laughs> this is the spot. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and my friend tried like three weeks ago. Um, How did you do? Oh, um, no, no way, dude. You can do it. This long. Like, literally, <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's crazy, dude. It's like eight pounds. No, eight pounds? Yeah, good luck. We'll be cheering you on. Yeah? Yeah. I'll probably need it, I think. You, you're looking me up. Don't make it any harder, though, just because it's me. <laughs> it was at this moment he knew. He f***ed up. This is what I'm doing, the Burrito Atomico. You get 30 minutes to finish. If you can finish inside 30 minutes, you get the 29.99 meal free, a t-shirt, and I think they might have a wall of fame somewhere. The chef knows who I am now though, so hopefully he gives me a fair shake. Jesus, this looks big. <laughs> is it heavy? Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> I could fail this one. Right, uh, yeah, you, if you want to give me a 3, 2, 1 or whenever. Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Ah, what's up, Benami? Welcome back to another episode. Day number three in Atlanta today. Actually, technically, I'm, I'm not in Atlanta. I'm about an hour west in a place called Carrollton. And about a spot called Locomix. Uh something it's it's a mexican place naturally as you can no doubt tell i mean a burrito not just any burrito arguably no not even arguably definitely the uh, the biggest burrito I've, I've ever seen let alone tried to eat this thing is it's humongous I don't, that's, i'm sorry if you're having your lunch and, and and everything but there's no way to do this and not be messy you know Ooh. gotta be polite you know I don't want to undo all the hard work Hugh Grant has done over the years, making every English person look like a, an amiable, stuttering buffoon. <laughs> and yeah, it's a wet burrito, so beard or no beard, you can't really avoid making a bit of a mess with this one. Oh. This is so much bigger than the, the one I did at... Um, the ex-wife in, in Florida. Yeah, so I don't know if you saw that episode, but in the last series, I did something called the ex-wife burrito challenge, which was about six, maybe six and a half pounds. And that's how I know this one is a great deal more than six pounds. <laughs> Still, comes with the territory these days. I'm not complaining. And if nothing else, it's gonna make for a pretty intense video. So I'm gonna explain the rules to you. You get uh, 30 minutes to, uh, to finish this giant burrito, which is stuffed full of uh, all kinds of stuff. Chicken, uh, pulled beef, steak, uh, I don't know, about four or five different types of rice, beans, vegetables, the normal kind of stuff you would get. Pretty much anything that you would normally get inside a burrito, it's in here. And uh, yeah, if you finish it, it's on the house. Oh, this is no joke, man. This is huge. Oh. Yeah, in hindsight, I probably should have put on a t-shirt that had some room to expand into rather than this delightful baby gap number. Because <laughs> it's starting to get pretty grueling now. Jalapeno. <laughs> 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 
Okay. Oh, 16 minutes remaining. Come on, you better get a wriggle on, son. You might actually want to watch this part from behind a pillow or, I don't know, just squint a bit. Because although we're chopping it up and, you know, time lapsing and stuff like that, you're going to see lots of burrito dangling out of my mouth for the next few minutes. Still, I mean, the burrito was good. It tasted great. Um, it was just, there was a lot of it. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, it was, it, it, it's a tough one. And I, I should say, you, you're supposed to get a, uh, a winner's t-shirt too, if you if you do complete inside 30 minutes, which yeah, at this point, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. We've only got, what, 10 minutes left to go? Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Can I get a Diet Coke? Just about. Thank you. <laughs> Tactical Diet Coke deployed. A surefire sign that uh, things are getting tough. If you watch the channel regularly, you probably know that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this one is going down to the wire. It's no surprise to me that this hasn't been beaten for like, I don't know, five years or something, according to the waitress. And I think there is one more video of, of uh, somebody having done this, but it, it's, there's no uniformity with the size. It looks nothing like this one. <laughs> Still, good to get a, a nice stretch now and then. <laughs> Look at my face, I'm not happy. Just gotta mop up some of this debris now, get an okay from the waitress and hopefully we're there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll catch you at the next one. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> Can I get some napkins? I'm a mess, I'm sorry. No, you're good. It's totally solid. There's like a war zone here. Look at that cup. And there's debris everywhere. I think that's a reasonable amount of debris though. Do you guys have any t shirts? No, I don't, we don't. Oh, you don't? Oh, I'm crushed. I'm sorry. Oh, man, that was. That was really, really hard. I'm a huge fucking fan. When I saw you walking, I was like, there's no way. I thought you were looking. I was thinking, I think this guy's gonna mug me. Or oh, you watch my videos. Yeah, that was hard. Yeah, you killed it though. I was like, damn. <sighs> Six pounds in my ass. I feel like I can barely breathe.